Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session part 3 Taylor series. Those who don't see the videos on the basics on Taylor series part 1 as well as part 2, go to the playlist, watch those videos and come here. It will be easy for you to understand these problems. And in the previous videos at session 1, we are dealing with problems on e power x y. And in the second video, we are dealing with e power x sin y with different points like 0, 0, minus 1, 5 by 4. Now you can take this similar problem for your practice e power x cos y where we deal in the previous video sin y. Here you can practice problems on cos y. Okay, so in this session, we are going for a different problem. e power x into log 1 plus y. This is one of the standard problem which we have to solve. Let us go into the problem. As usual, step 1. Write my function e power x into log 1 plus y. Then points are not given. So I am going to take my a comma b as 0 comma 0. So a equal to 0 will be getting b equal to 0. Therefore, x minus a is simply x and y minus b will be simply y. We can fill the table just like that. Next, step 2. Let us do 1 by 1. Let us write the function f. So now, we know that log x differentiation is 1 by x. e power x differentiation is as usual e power x. Okay. Now, I want to find fx. When I do partial differentiation of f with respect to x, my log 1 plus y is constant. It remains as it is. e power x differentiation is simply e power x into log 1 plus y. Next, I have to find f double x. Since it is easy, the same thing is going to come here. Then I will do f double x. Similarly, now I am going to find f y. In all our problems, we just find f x, f y, f double x, f double y, f x y. Just for the change, I am doing like here, f, f x, f double x, then f y. So, f y means I am going to differentiate log 1 plus y partially with respect to y since e power x is constant. So, differentiation of this is going to be 1 by 1 plus y. So, I will be writing like this, e power x divided by 1 plus y. Now, I want to find f double y. x power n differentiation is n into x power n minus 1. Suppose if my x is in the denominator, 1 by x power n differentiation is minus n divided by x power n plus 1. The same thing, see here, 1 by 1 plus y. Its differentiation is nothing but minus 1 by 1 plus y whole square because I said the formula 1 by x power n is minus n by x power n plus 1. Now you can replace this x by 1 plus y. You can easily get the idea. So e power x remains constant. I am writing it as minus e power x divided by 1 plus y whole square. Now I want to find fxy. fxy can be found by differentiating fx partially with respect to y. So my fx is e power x log 1 plus y. So e power x remains constant and log 1 plus y differentiation is 1 by 1 plus y. So everything is ready now. Now we know e power 0 is 1 because my both the points are 0. e power 0 is 1 and when I put log 1 plus 0, it's going to be log 1. We know log 1 is always 0. Therefore, wherever the log comes, I'll put 0. Now e power 0 is 1, 1 by 1 plus 0, that is 1. Next, similarly, for this also, if I put e power 0 is 1 divided by 1 plus 0 whole square, that is minus 1. And finally, the last one is 1. So, we found the table now. This is one of the important problem. Now, let us go to the step 3. Before going to step 3, let us note down f, fx, f double x, all are 0. Then, fy is 1, f double y is minus 1, fxy is 1. Now, we know the formula we write here. So, f, fx, f double x. These three are 0. And we know that x minus a is x, y minus b is y. Now, I am going to substitute the values one by one. So, first term is 0, then fx also 0, fy is going to be 1, y minus 0, that is y plus 1. 1 by 2 factorial, this term is 0, and this one is 1, we found, and this one is minus 1. When we substitute and simplify, I will be getting y, then when you multiply this, 2 and 
2 will get cancelled. Per year, you will be getting 2. So, y plus xy minus y square by 2 plus dot dot dot. That is the expansion for e power x into log 1 plus y. Next problem is also a little interesting. In the session 2, we see the problem on sin x sin y. This is going to be very easy. But here, this is sin x y. Function of function. Let us write sin x y is my f. This time you see, instead of giving the point, they give like this x minus 1. So, x minus 1 is x minus a and y minus pi by 2 is y minus b. So, from this, I can say my a is 1, b is pi by 2. Do you understand students? This is x minus a. I matched with x minus 1. So, a is 1. y minus b matched with y minus pi by 2. So, b is pi by 2. So, my points are 1 comma pi by 2. Then I can write this given data. Now, step 2. Step 2, we should be a little careful while you do differentiation of sin x y. Now, f x. Differentiation of sin partially with respect to x. So, sin x differentiation is cos x y into x y differentiation partially with respect to x is y. So, it is going to be y into cos x y. Next, f y. From f, I will take this. Sin differentiation is cos x y and x y partial differentiation with respect to y is x. So, I can write it as x cos x y. Next, we have to find f double x. f double x can be found from f x by doing partial differentiation. So, now y is constant. Cos x differentiation is minus sin. So, cos x y differentiation is minus sin x y and x y differentiation partially with respect to x is y. So, we will write it as minus y square sin x y. Next, f y y. I can get f y y from here. So, now x is constant. Cos x y differentiation partially with respect to y is minus sin x y and x y differentiation partially with respect to y is x. So, we will be getting minus x square sin x y. And finally, I have to find f x y. I can take f x and differentiate partially with respect to y. Now, you should be careful because there are two terms. y is one term. The other term is cos x y. So, I have to apply u v rule. I will keep y. Then, cos x y differentiation is minus sin x y into x y differentiation partially with respect to y is x. This is the first term. Then, cos x y I will keep. Then, differentiation of y partially with respect to y is 1. So, I can write this as minus x y sin x y plus cos x y. Now, since x is going to be 1, we know sin pi by 2 is 1 and cos pi by 2 is 0. Wherever I see cos, I will put 0. 0, 0, then here 0. Put x and y value in sin. Sin 90 is 1. When I go here, the sin pi by 2 is going to be 1. But I have minus y square here. I know my y is pi by 2. So, minus pi by 2 whole square into 1. That will be pi square by 4. You can see 1 by 1. Now, similarly, when I put x square minus 1 square, sin pi by 2 is 1. So, I will be getting minus 1. And here, the second term is going to be 0, cos 90. When you go sin, minus 1 into pi by 2 into sin 90 is 1. So, I will be getting minus pi by 2. So, this problem is little different. Hope you can understand and you can solve confidently. Now, I have to write the formula as usual. You can see two terms are 0. What are they? fx, fy. Remaining terms exist. So, this term totally going to be 0. I have to write the remaining data. So, I will substitute the remaining data. We know x minus a is x minus 1. y minus b is y minus pi by 2. Then, substitute this data here. x minus 1 whole square. This value from the table, it is minus pi square by 4. Here, 2 into x minus 1, y minus pi by 2. f x y is minus pi by 2. And finally, y minus pi by 2 whole square, f double y is minus 1. So, we can substitute this and then I can simplify just multiplying and correcting the minus plus like this. And finally, plus dot 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 is important because it is an infinite series. Hope you understand. And this problem I left to you. You see, x plus 2 means, what is the meaning? 
my x minus a is x plus 2 minus a equal to 2 so a equal to minus 2 and here y minus b equal to y minus 1 from here i will get b equal to 1 so i can make the table like this i am not going to explain this formula you can practice by yourself this problem and the formula so you can differentiate and fill the table once it is done step 3 write the formula step 4 substitute the values we get from the table simplify it and stop it hope you understand this problems so tyler series comes to an end so good luck for your exams do well subscribe our channel share to your friends let us grow together thank you bye bye see you in the next topic